Time now to answer some of your plant questions. Joining me this afternoon, we have Cynthia Mann from Valley View Farms. Hey, Cynthia. Hi, Theo. How are you? I'm all right. So we've got some perennials here. Yes, yes, we do. These are all things that are looking beautiful right now. They really like the summer weather. I've got some balloon flower, a nice coreopsis, this unique one here in the middle that's uh, yarrow, and then I have a germander on the end. Mm -hmm. So all of these are uh, really good for this time of year. And surrounded by moss down here. Yes, this is sort of a decorative moss. If you wanted to group things together, you can hide the plastic pots and different things. Sounds good. All right, first question here. Uh, what is the white film on my phlox leaves? Can it be treated? So uh, phlox is one of those plants. It's sort of an occupational hazard. If you're growing, growing phlox, you get often get a uh, powdery mildew on them. And uh, it doesn't necessarily harm the plant. It doesn't always uh, really cause it damage. It just looks unsightly. So people do like to treat it. Um, one of the easiest things to do actually is to plant something better looking in front of it mm -hmm. to hide the leaves. But if you really want to try uh, a product to try and uh, get the uh, powdery mildew to go, something like a Revitalize, uh, that can be really a nice product. Okay, next question here. Uh, are there specific types of flowers that butterflies favor? Uh, actually, I have a couple here in front of us. They really like a nice landing zone. Uh, uh, so something like a yarrow has a nice flat top and a daisy-like flower like the coreopsis. They can land on there and uh, feed and get the nectar to their heart's content. I had a feeling you were going to say that. I feel like I see <laughs> butterflies around. Yeah, they, like that. Um, they do go to other flowers. They would use the other ones as well, but if you have a nice landing pad, yep. they really do like that. <laughs>